The pre-flight tool is available for the manual push and hub licenses and is a very convenient and easy way to process your customer's artwork to be ready for print. The pre-flight tool can be accessed in the artwork section of the View Job Details page. Click the green pre-flight button to launch the application. In this first example, we have a low-res RGB image. We see the application is going to convert the files to CMYK automatically. We also see the quality is very poor as a result of the file being low resolution. Now let's look at another file. Let's take a look at all the functions available in the pre-flight tool. First we can rotate the canvas. We can also rotate the artwork. You can stretch the file. Now if we stretch the file it is going to give a disclaimer because this could compromise the quality of the print. We can scale down or scale up. In this instance we would scale up so that we meet the uh, bleed requirements. We can unlock the file and position it so we can move it around. You can also use the arrows to move it up or down. And your keyboard also works. The arrows on your keyboard can move the file when it's unlocked. We can insert a tag. The job was printed by a specific print company. This will be default to your storefront URL. We can also uh, revert back or delete our last change. And then we can revert all of our, uh, all of our choices. There's also an option to add a background color. So we just move our cursor onto the color that we'd like. You see it changing there. You can also move the file and see more. So rather than expanding the file, you can actually add your background color. So in this case, we'd be putting black. And that fills our bleed for us. We can get a preview of what it's going to look like after it's trimmed. We can zoom in and zoom out. We can also get a 3D preview of what our job is going to look like. This is to ensure the orientation is correct. Once you've made all the appropriate changes, click Proceed to Next File. And you would make the same changes to the back if needed. Once all changes are complete, click OK to print. This will close out the pre-flight tool application and ask you if you want to save and return to the browse orders page or stay and continue to make changes to the job. If you click OK and proceed to the browse orders page, the job status will be changed to prepress. If you opt to stay on the page and make additional changes to the job, once you click save, the job status will be changed to prepress. You can download the pre-flighted files by clicking this blue button here. Another notable feature of this application, if only one file is uploaded to a job that requires two, a message will be populated staying, stating as such. Also a big red X will be given to signify that a file is missing. If you need further assistance or details on how the application works, click the Help tab on the right.